This is Frank Breeze reporting for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at your call with Sammy Cantwell. Sam, your first fight in just over a year now, 13 months? 13 months, mate, yeah. How do you feel, mate? Yeah, I feel good. I'm glad it's out of the way. It's been a burden on my shoulder for like, a long time, so I was glad to get the four rounds out. It was a tough night's work with Gary Reeves. It was, um, it was good, it was good inside, so just a good get me back in, and hopefully I can get out again soon. I say, I mean, he was quite a well-rounded opponent. Certainly knew how to look after himself in there. Probably, uh, to coin a phrase, that the old man needed a glove on his head a couple of times. <laughs> um, I think he, uh, he threw a big right hand over the top. Caught you was it the second round. Caught yeah, you, caught it was you, it caught a couple of times. Got caught, got caught with heads quite a few times. He did catch me with right hand over top, so I had to be a bit wary. Um, obviously, after what happened last year, so um, I had to just take my time. I listened to instructions, boxed to instructions, so. 13 months out is a long time. How was the nerves going into the fight? I wasn't nervous. I was, I was okay. It was, um, I just wanted to box well because I hadn't boxed for so long. So I think that maybe, I was probably maybe trying too hard at the start. So and in, in the fourth round, I sort of felt like I was sort of getting into it a little bit more. So I think the more if it went on, I would have maybe got a bit better. So. Yeah. But I'm happy with the win. I'm just glad it's off my shoulders now. So oh, definitely. I'd say. I mean, uh, looking at the fight, it's probably bearing in mind what happened with the last one. Probably nice to get in there and actually, you know, have a have a relatively tough one. It was. It was. It was a tough night as well. It's better than having someone that I can blow away, and then it, that needed to show me that I've still I've still got a bit between my teeth that I can still do it. Absolutely. And I still want it. So um, it's just on and up. I just need to get a bit of momentum. Box a few more times. It's a long time out, so you, know, yeah. you could tell that I kept my distance wasn't there. I kept missing slightly and overreaching. Yeah, getting that time and when you've yeah, had that, exactly. that amount of time out. It's yeah. doing it in the gym is one thing, but doing it in there under yeah, lights exactly. is something completely so, different, isn't it? Um, but I had a lot of support. I think I had over 150 people here tonight, so I'm, it was like a lot of pressure as well. But um, I'm grateful to everyone who's come and paid and spent their money. Yeah, it's pressure in a good way, isn't it? I mean, it was uh, it was lively when you when you uh, when you got the win at the end there. It was, yeah, it was, it was well nice. They, they turn out, they always turn out for me. I always have a good good crowd come and watch me. And all like lovely people, you know. If I, if they didn't come, I wouldn't be boxing. So I'm always I'm always indebted to them. Yes, yeah, it's. it's, it's Probably the worst part of being a pro boxer is doing the tickets and getting uh, the people in. It's I'm, not nasty, a, I'm not a salesman. I hate. I hate it. Ask anyone. It's the worst thing. I, I literally put on Facebook, Twitter, like once. I can't. I can't bear asking people for money. But um, I'm lucky enough that everyone just comes for me. I'm, I'm like, I'm a lucky boy. And sponsors as well. Do you want to thank any sponsors? Oh yeah, I can do. Please, can I need to thank Jeff Cope, who can't be here tonight. He's looked after me for the last year. He's a really good friend of mine. Mickey and Jane Timmon from Red Cross Fire. They've looked after me from day one, they're like good family friends, and my new one, Andy Martin Estate Agents, they came on board the other day, so thank you so much for everything. But they're a major part of, of the whole team as well, without They help me, they help me train. Yeah. They help me be able to give up a little bit of work so I can go and train, because you know, it's, like, it's really hard, ain't it? So, you don't get paid low, especially at my weight, so every little helps. Definitely. You got any idea when you're looking to get out again? I speak to Dad, um, manager Paul speak, so hopefully at least June, July. I'm hoping. I need to. I need to. I need to be busy. Yeah. I need to. It's too. It was too long out for other reasons, but not personal reasons, etc. But um, hopefully, like June, July. Four round the next time. Six round. No, it was supposed. This was supposed to be six, but it got dropped to four the other day. So, so I was. I thought it was six, but it dropped to four. Yeah. Then four round is a nasty. Now you get caught yes. one shot, and before you know it, you're chasing it. I know. Like, I you know. Like I had to start quick. We're normally on a little bit slower. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but I need to thank my dad for training me, putting up with me moaning and stuff. He, he knows there. what it's like, he's been he's there, there himself, he knows what it's like. When he's freezing. Um, I need to thank Al Smith from iBox Gym, he's helped dad along with it with my sparring and everything. And um, they've right looked after me for this one, so yeah. Well, top man, Sam. Nice one. Thanks, Frank, mate. Good luck for, for the next one and well done for tonight, mate. Thanks, mate. Good luck in your new career and all. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks.